In this exercise, I'm going to show you how to create the effect of turning off and on a light in a room using ActionScript code with code snippets. I'd like you to see how I have the room set up. You'll notice that I have layers. My bottom layer is walls, then a lamp, then dark, then a button, then actions. I'm going to hide them all and reveal them one at a time. First, I created walls. I used a gradient fill so that it looks like light is going to be generated behind where the lamp would be. Then I brought in a, an image of a lamp, which I used trace bitmap to get rid of the background. I created a movie clip named Dark. It is a rectangle that is filled with um, dark gray at about a 60% alpha. And then in the properties section for this, I have to unlock it, for dark, I named it dark underscore MC. It's critical to name anything that you want to program. To make the room look dark, we need the dark to be visible. To make the room look light, we need it to be invisible. So we're going to create the effect of turning off and on the light. I'm not using the lamp as a button because the button has to be over the dark or we can't use it. So I created a completely invisible button. You can do that, and I'll just edit in place right here, because the up, over, and down areas all are completely empty. The only thing that I have is a hit area, so my entire button is a hit area. When I go back to scene one, the blue area shows you where the hit area will be. Since I'm programming this, it also needs to have a ver uh, name, an instance name, which is light underscore btn. In the library, I name things starting with their extension, btn for button, mc for movie clip, because it aligns them alphabetically. When I place them on the stage, I always name them something underscore btn or underscore mc, because that gives me programming, hence it makes, makes programming easier. My action script layer will be used when I use my code hinting. Currently, I can open it by using Shift F9. Guess not. I can open it by going into my actions panel. And you can see currently my actions are blank. I'm going to use code snippets to get started. I'm going to select my button, and under Window, you can find code snippets listed about a third of the way down the list. That opens up your code snippet window. You have several different options in code snippets. You have options for animation, for timeline navigation, um, for movie control, and what we're going to use here is an event handler. An event handler will determine if your user has used the keyboard or the mouse. I want to use the mouse click event. If they click my button, I want something to happen. So I'm going to double click on this, and that'll get me started. It simplifies the programming. To understand what's happening, you'll see that it has light button, which is the name of my button. It's adding an event listener of a click event, which means that we have clicked the mouse on the button it will call our click handler number two, which is our function right here. Function mouse click handler underscore two. It passes an event, the click, and it doesn't return anything, which is why it says void. So here we can put in our code. Notice trace mouse clicked. If, if we test this and click on it, it will tell us mouse clicked. That's what a trace statement does. It provides feedback to know that something worked which is great, but it's not what I want to happen. To be able to program a movie clip, you have to find it. I suggest using insert a target path to find your named clip. The clip that I want to find is dark underscore MC. If it doesn't have an instance name, the movie clip name will appear in parentheses, like it does here for lamp. I'm going to hit OK, and I'm going to check to see 
if it's visible. So I'm going to put in an if statement. If checks to see if something is true or not. And movie clips have properties which are listed after the names with a dot. So if this dark underscore mc dot visible equals equals. If you have two equal signs, it's checking to see if something is true. And if it is true, it will execute the following line. It will make this dark underscore mc dot visible equal false. A single equal sign sets a value. Otherwise, we're going to use the else statement. What will happen if it's not true? We'll make this dart dot dark underscore mc dot visible equal true. This way it'll toggle on. If we click the mouse button, it will go turn the light off and on. I can use my blue check mark to see if I have any obvious errors. Nothing came up, so I'm going to hit Command Enter. Click, the light is on, click, the light is off. And that's how you make a movie clip visible or invisible. A simple start to basic programming.